What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Dita, your favorite Dita, and I am back to review Jordan Peele's Nope. It is written, directed, and produced by Jordan Peele. You know him from Get Out and Us. It is starring Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, <clears throat> Brandon Pereira, Stephen Yun, and Keith David. It is classified as a horror sci-fi mystery Rated R clocks in at two hours and 15 minutes, and the synopsis reads, The residents of a lonely ranch in California bear witness to an uncanny, chilling discovery. And that is all I'm going to say because this is your spoiler-free review. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, you know what we do here. I watch movies so you don't have to. I give you a little bit of the good, bad, and everything in between with no spoilers, of course. And I let you know whether or not you should know or go see it in movie theaters, which it comes out this Friday. <clears throat> Fun fact, you guys. Don't worry. Completely spoiler-free, okay? I'm going to protect your viewing experience. Fun fact, I think this movie has some similarities um, to the real events in a movie called The Skin Walker Ranch. And I think it's on Netflix. It came out in 2013. So it's like a found footage type thing. Very similar and eerie to this whole thing. But, you know, Jordan Peele puts his own spin on his work, of course. Okay. So... Let's start out with the good. The sound design, the score, the production value was top notch. You can definitely tell he was given a budget baby, okay? The budget was flowing. It was a bigger, grander story. <clears throat> Beautifully shot. Man, the camera work was so well executed. It was so interestingly done. The lighting was beautiful. How you would, at nighttime, you would see these things in the sky and you would look off into, and you know how um, Daniel Kaluuya, his, his skin tone is so dark. And so you would see and the lighting and how his eyes just like kind of popped like in the whole, I saw it in IMAX. Um, I think you should probably see it in IMAX as well or Dolby or whatever you have, 4D, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I just thought it was beautiful. I thought everything was really, really good. The, the big, big, long sky shots, the clouds, the skies, the hills, the valleys, very well executed. <clears throat> I love the special effects. Um, Jordan Peele, the new master of horror, baby. He tells the story in such an interesting way that he tells these stories that you just can't stop watching. Like, so compelling. No matter, because I did think the first and second act were a little slow. I'm watching, I'm watching. But the way he builds the tension and builds the suspense and all of that, it was... You, you never was bored. You never was bored. I think uh, he did a really good job with the pacing, even though it kind of was like a little bit of a slow burn. <clears throat> I'm watching. I'm looking. I'm looking for the themes and I'm looking for the deeper meaning. And he made you work, baby. He made you work harder to understand the deeper meaning and the themes that were <clears throat> played with throughout this movie. The social commentary and the themes was explored a little bit more vaguer than his other movies. I'll touch a little bit more on that in the cons of the movies. Let's get to the acting. I think Daniel Kaluuya did a really good job emoting a lot of times in this movie. He was very, very subdued. Um, he went through a trauma and a tragedy and he witnessed it and he kind of... I don't know. I don't know if that's just how he is. Like, but we, we didn't get much of it. So I don't know if that particular trauma that happened contributed to him acting that way. But I don't know. But he he acts very well with a little to no dialogue. 
He was very subdued in this. Now to his counterpart, Mrs. Kiki Palmer, baby, she just needs to be in more. Cast Kiki Palmer in more. We need more Kiki Palmer. She is so energetic and I loved it. Brandon Pereira, he was kind of like the comic relief in this movie. He was a good addition. Every time I saw him, I would laugh. Um, and speaking of comedy in the movie, it was quite humorous at times. You know how Jordan Peele has that little that little knack for the comedy and the in the horror. He he rides the wave, he rides the line a little, little, little too good, right? So it wasn't to a detriment of the movie so whew, let me just say that <laughs> Thor Love and Thunder <laughs> um, Brandon and Kiki were the main ones that really brought the humor Daniel had a couple of good little moments in there as well and um, for me I it was it was intense it wasn't like a horror like it was like I'm, I'm telling you jordan peele has this pocket of horror that is horror but it's not horror so I, I i can't really describe it but it had a lot of horror elements it had a lot of um scenes that was very very disturbing um very suspenseful very tense and all of that stuff but yeah i didn't I, you know, I was tense, but I, it wasn't, it wasn't a horror movie. It was it just wasn't a horror movie. It just had some horror elements in there. Um, so let's get to the bad, shall we? The, the choices that Peel made to transition the story the way he did was kind of jarring for me. I couldn't make much sense of it. These, um, quick jump cuts to a title screen that's kind of like you know how um storytellers do like chapters you know this chapter this chapter but he would just they just felt so random and the word that was referenced in the title card some of them i got some of them i didn't get so yeah i don't know you know it, it was weird it was jarring it kind of took you off the story because it, it was it just was it didn't flow it didn't flow it was it was very weird when um those things happened um there were two competing stories or or should i say just like a subplot where they're exploring stephen young's backstory right it felt like that was the social commentary piece that was thrown in there um but it wasn't put in the story and it wasn't well fleshed out um, it just didn't marry well. Like when, like, like I said, when I said he made you work to get the message and the meaning, like, I, I think because it was so random and odd and it was just in there, it just, I don't know. It just took, it just, I don't think it was fleshed out well enough and I don't think that it gelled together in the movie the way i think he wanted to that's just me i may not be the smartest you know i'm sorry listen we'll see <laughs> like i said i'm waiting for somebody to spoil or break down that thing down baby so yes yeah, so i'm definitely gonna be checking that out peel definitely didn't do any hand holding in this um I definitely didn't get it on the first viewing. I was kind of sitting there stuck looking. I was just like, well, maybe this is just it. He's just telling a story. He's doing a reimagining of a supposedly true event. And maybe that's why I was let down because I was looking for a more poignant meaning. But I think it had to do more with something that I just didn't get. Okay, so whatever. I think the first and second act were a little slow, but in more than made up for it in the third act, it brought the spectacle of a summer blockbuster and finished strong. It was a tad bit too long for me, but like I said, it was like a slow burn, okay? And then we got to the big grand finale. So before I give you my overall thoughts, on note, why don't you take a moment and follow me on my social media? It's right.
So for my overall thoughts on Jordan Peele's Nope, it is a massive production. Excellent sound design, scope, score, beautiful cinematography, shot in IMAX to bring a slow burn of a sci-fi epic summer blockbuster full of themes and deeper meanings that you may find hard to find or process in the first viewing. I had to sleep on it. Very disturbing imagery, haunting scenes. Uh, it, it just gave you that suspenseful sci-fi mystery. Like you like, what is it? What is it? Okay. So yeah. So Kiki Palmer was the standout for me um, with her energy while Kaluuya was very powerful and emoting, I felt like there were some things left on the cutting room floor, but it was a good movie overall. Peel does it again. Kudos to him. I do think this will be a little divisive for sure because those meanings that you're looking for are hard to decipher, okay? But I definitely recommend that you be the judge of that. And I give it four out of five stars and say, go see it in theaters in fr on Friday in IMAX, okay? So for my deeper recommendations, I have Get Out, Us, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Well, that wraps my review of Jordan Peele's Nope. Let me know if you've seen the movie, what did you think about it? Did you get the social commentary and the deeper meaning that he was trying to put into this film? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you interested? Is Jordan Peele your, is he the new master of horror to you? What do you think about him? I love his work. I love his work. Um, of the three, I think this is his, I don't know. This is, his, this is his weakest piece of work to me. But it's still a good piece of work, okay? So, yeah. So, you let me know. What do you like? What is your favorite of Jordan Peele? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget, I'm Nita, your favorite diva. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't you forget to come back. Okay? Bye.